Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I've got some pretty interesting news about LibreOffice. Yep, the popular open source office suite. So let's dive right into it. LibreOffice just dropped version 25.2 and uh, there's a major change in the mix. This update, which brings a whole bunch of new features and improvements across Writer, Calc, Impress, and all those other cool components also marks the end of an era for older Windows operating systems. That's right. Um, LibreOffice 25.2 officially deprecates support for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, you can still install this version on those older systems, but it's basically the last one you can use on them. Starting with version 25, Point eight, which is scheduled to come out later this year, support will be completely removed. So if you're using Windows 7 or 8 slash 8.1 and want to keep getting the latest updates and features, you're going to need to upgrade to at least Windows 10. And uh, fun fact, Windows 10 is also on its way to reaching end of life later this year. So maybe it's time to think about moving up to Windows 11 or even trying out a desktop Linux distro. But hey, let's talk about the cool new stuff in LibreOffice 25.2. For starters, there's support for the open document format 1.4 update, which if you didn't know is something that Microsoft Office added a while back. It's great to see LibreOffice staying on top of the latest standards. Another awesome feature is the new personal information removal tool. Um, this lets you strip out all your personal data from documents, think author names, timestamps, edit history, and more. And get this, you can now automatically sign documents once you set up a default certificate. It's one of those small changes that really adds up to a better, more secure user experience. If you're curious about all the nitty gritty details, you can check out the full change log over at the Document Foundation's website. And of course, if you're ready to upgrade, you can download LibreOffice directly from their official site. So um, if you're still hanging on to Windows 7 or 8, now might be a good time to consider an upgrade, not just for LibreOffice, but also for better security and performance with modern software. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech updates, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Let me know in the comments what you think about LibreOffice 25.2 and the end of support for those older Windows systems. Until next time, take care and happy upgrading.